Hey friends, happy Tuesday and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul and meal plan. Today I have a pretty big haul to share with y'all from Aldi. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the meal plan for the week and then we'll get into the haul. Okay, here is the meal plan for the week. So we've got ham and cheese sliders with salad, air fryer chicken thighs with instant pot cheesy broccoli rice, and possibly green beans, I'm not sure yet. And then my uncle's birthday is Sunday, so he's gonna come over for dinner, and so is my brother. And we're gonna do Brunswick stew and homemade bread or biscuits or something. And then we're gonna do crock pot cube steak and gravy over egg noodles, possibly with green beans. And then smoked sausage and veggie sheet pan dinner, chili mac, and spaghetti and salad. Okay, here is everything that I got today at Aldi. If you wanna leave a guess for the total, you can go ahead and leave it in the comments now, and then at the end, I will give you the total of everything that I spent today. I will tell you, I did stay under the $150 budget, so I did good. So starting over here, we've got a thing of apple juice. We still have one left from last week, so I just picked up one. I got some caramel macchiato coffee creamer. We still have some of the Italian sweet cream or whatever it is. Um, so I just got something different so that I can have two different options. And then I got two things of the orange juice that we like, two things of the lemonade that we like, one in the strawberry lemonade and one in the regular lemonade. Then we got some heavy whipping cream. Uh, this was the only one they had. It was kind of expensive, uh, but I didn't want to go anywhere else. Um, and they didn't have any of the like Aldi friendly farms heavy whipping cream. So I just got that one, the Shamrock brand, whatever, it'll work. And then they didn't have any Fairlife milk this week, so I just got the Aldi lactose free. Um, when I buy this, I prefer the whole milk over the 2%, um, but I prefer the Fairlife, definitely. But I uh, can't have regular milk, so I got that. And then I also got some 2% milk for Andy and the kids. And then Andy will be off and I don't know like if I will make a big breakfast, usually I do kind of make some bigger breakfast when he is off. So I got some bacon and some breakfast sausage just to have on hand in case I want to make them for breakfast. Okay, then I saw this crab dip. It's Cajun crab dip and this looks like just like the one that I picked up at Ingles like the other week, which was pretty good. So I got this one to try from Aldi. And then I got some ground lamb. This isn't on the meal plan this week, but it is gonna be for St. Patrick's Day. I think on St. Patrick's Day, I'm gonna make a shepherd's pie. Um, and this was on sale this week, and I didn't know if it would be on sale next week, so I went ahead and bought it. It was $5.85 for one pound of ground lamb, which, if you remember when I tried to buy this a couple months back, I tried to buy it at Kroger, and it was like $10 a pound. So even regular price at Aldi, it's like six something. Um, so much better deal to get that at Aldi. Then I got two blocks of sharp cheddar cheese, some biscuit ham slices or Canadian bacon. I'm gonna use that probably in the egg bites. Then I got some sharp cheddar cheese slices, some whipped topping for a pie I'm going to make uh, for pie day. Um, trying to make all the little special things special for the kids. So yeah, we're gonna make a chocolate like pudding pie. So I need a whipped topping. And then I got some sharp cheddar shredded cheese. Um, ice cream, this brookie dough is for Andy, because I didn't know if he would like this. This is Bluebell Tin Roof. It says vanilla flavored ice cream with a chocolate sauce and peanuts covered in dark chocolate flavored coating. So I got this for me and the kids, and this for Andy. Then I got eggs, they were still 235 this week, much better than they have been in the last couple of months. And then I got bagel bites, or bagel pizzas that's gonna be for lunch today once I get done with this video I'm just gonna pop those in the oven then I got some grape tomatoes bananas pink lady apples some little baby potatoes strawberries broccoli some mixed greens we still have some romaine but I just wanted something else to mix in with it that wasn't just spinach so this has spinach baby chard and baby green kale. So we'll see how we like that. Uh, mandarins, cause Lily said she wanted to try little mandarin oranges again. Um, so I got those. If she doesn't eat them, I will. Got some onions, some carrots and a cucumber. I got the chocolate pudding for a chocolate pudding pie. Two boxes of that. I might have the recipe. I'm not sure. I have one graham cracker crust. 
Um, but I bought another one just in case. I think that the recipe I'm using is for like a deeper pie crust. So I think it would fill two, but I might just have the recipe and make one pie crust and then save the rest for later. We'll see, I haven't decided yet. Then we got some wide egg noodles, some blueberry cereal bars and mixed berry cereal bars, some shell pasta, some more of this liquid IV stuff. Um, somebody asked me where you find this. In my store, it's with the juice, and then there's like a little shelf in the juice aisle that has like the water drops, like the liquid water drops, but then there's also these with that. So that's where I find those, and I really like the lemon lime flavor. Haven't tried any of the other flavors. I got some dried mango, because we're almost out, and I love this stuff. Got more flatbreads. We really liked the ones that I bought last week. The ones last week were just the like whole grain ones. These are multi-grain with flax. I figured we'd see how many of the kids like them. If we don't like these with the flax, then I will go back to the other ones. But we ate like ham and cheese roll-ups with these and like peanut butter and jelly roll-ups. So like instead of a sandwich, we were eating it on this and we really liked it. Um, they have like high fiber and protein. So they're really good for you. So we got those. And then I got this Tiger Tail Fusion Buffalo Barbecue Wing Sauce. Um, I'm thinking about using this as the barbecue sauce in a recipe that also calls for hot sauce. So I'm gonna taste it before I add it to that recipe and see how I like it. If not, um, I'm just gonna use regular barbecue sauce and hot sauce. But I saw this, it was new, figured I'd give it a try. We got some marinara sauce, a can of diced tomatoes, two cans of cream of chicken, two cans of mixed vegetables, three cans of green beans, a loaf of honey wheat bread, and then these brioche rolls that I like to use as slider buns. And that is it. And that is going to be it for my haul today. If I remember correctly, my total was around $132, but the exact amount will be here on the screen for those of you that are interested. I think I did pretty good, got quite a bit of stuff, and bless you, that will last us through the week. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave me a thumbs up and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.